What's the most radiation you've ever been exposed to? Most people think it's probably from aeroplanes or living next to a nuclear power plant, but actually if you've ever smoked, then your biggest radiation exposure may have been from your cigarette. For many smokers, cigarettes become their largest man-made source of radiation exposure. Here's why. Tobacco is grown with phosphate fertilizers, and those fertilizers contain trace amounts of uranium-238. As the uranium decays, it produces radon gas, which turns into radioactive particles like lead-210 and polonium-210. Tobacco leaves are sticky. They trap these radioactive dust particles incredibly efficiently. So when the leaf is dried, rolled and burned, the polonium-210 doesn't burn away. And then you inhale it. These alpha emitting particles embed themselves deep in the bifurcation point of your lungs, where the airways split. And alpha radiation is brutal. It's heavy, it's high energy, and it dumps that energy locally right into nearby cells, which are the cells that are most vulnerable to mutation. Now compare that to everything else that people tend to panic about. Cosmic rays do increase on airplanes, but they're low dose and they pass right through you. CT scans deliver a burst of radiation, but it's normally one and done and medically justified. For the average non-smoker, the biggest radiation source is radon gas in our homes. It can contribute to half your annual dose. But smoking, that's chronic internal alpha exposure, the most dangerous type because the particles stay in your body. So if you're worried about radiation from 5G masts or nuclear power and you smoke cigarettes, your priorities might be a little bit upside down.